Today's science workshop is all about robotics and coding, specifically Sphero Robotics. So whatever you put in here are the instructions the robot will follow. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Whoa. So that instruction there is the instruction that the Sphero has just followed. I want you to get your Sphero to draw a square. It has equal sides and they're all 90 degree angles. That's your challenge for today. Challenge accepted. That one. Now your challenge, what is it? To make a square. To create a square, our scientists will need to program in a series of instructions for their robots to follow. Can I see it? So add three more. Type in the code to make the sphero make a square. So I'm making sure that it goes 90 degrees. So it goes 0, 90, and then I have to do 90 more. That's not bad. So have a look at your picture. Is that very square-like? It's not very square-like, is it? It's kind of a blob. So what you can add is what we call a delay. And here is a delay. The delay allows the robot to stop and perform a sharper turn. A delay, then another roll. How are our scientists solving this problem? Just try and then keep fixing it. So we are going to have a look at the challenge now of the maze on the floor. I'm standing on the maze, but there's little things to do along the way on this maze. Changing colour, adding sound and doing a spin. Do you all understand what your challenge is? Yeah. Yes. The final challenge has our scientists applying all their newfound programming skills to navigate the maze. Start the program. It gets difficult at times because it doesn't listen to you. It might seem like a really big challenge to do it all at once. So if you break it down into small parts, like which way are you trying to go? That way. Or you can make it go a little bit faster, it will go a bit further. Chloe is so awesome. Don't forget your settings. I hope you've had a fantastic time playing with Sphero. It was kind of hard, but it was also fun because it was something new. My favourite part was probably doing the maze because it was interesting, but it was still um, quite challenging because you had to make a 360 spin and turn in different directions. I think that lots of jobs will be IT when we're older because computers are coming in and lots of stuff will be to do with computers and stuff. Have a great time, I'll see you next time.